I was sitting around the other day, like I do, minding my own business, right? Decided to make the straight servo motor mount for the mill, right? Rummaged through my aluminum scraps, found some stuff that might work, right? I needed two flanges and a round middle bit to connect the two. Plan was to rough out the flanges, make the cylindrical connector, weld those up, then finish machine the whole thing once it was together. So it was nice and round, square and mounty. Should have been a walk in the cake. Sure enough, the two flanges, not a problem. These are, I think, 60, 61. Run of the mill. Get it? Aluminum bar stock, flat stock. I had a plate, I just hogged them out. Next was the round middle bit. Kind of looks like a minion, doesn't it? Hands down, the easiest of the three parts to make. I have some aluminum tube that was pretty darn close, pulled it off the rack, cut off this piece, took it to the lathe. This is where things started getting fishy. This little guy felt just a little too heavy in the hand, but I just cut it off a six foot length, which was pretty heavy, cause it was six foot long. Maybe I'd just gotten a strange notion in my head. Anyway, I proceeded to turn the part. Things got a little more complicated. This material turned just fine, cut just fine, just like aluminum. I kept going. However, the chips didn't look quite right to me. They had this golden yellowish tinge to them. You see that? Here's what I expected to see. That nice mix of marbled and shiny gray we've all come to love about regular flavor aluminum. These, well, they almost look like stainless steel, don't they? Settle down. I'm sure some of you know what's coming. Let me finish. It's definitely not stainless steel. It's much too light for that and cuts way too easy. For a second, I thought maybe it was some kind of stainless steel aluminum hybrid. But then I realized that doesn't exist yet. Coincidentally, I did recently get my hands on polished inserts for aluminum. I'd never used these before. Could it be the new insert giving me chips I'm not used to seeing? I don't know. But nonetheless, why would they be yellow? Hold your horses. Here's the actual finished part. The new insert did a great job. Superb surface finish. Part is right on size. All is mostly good in the world. I put it down for the day, plan to pick it up again tomorrow, weld them all together and finish machine the weld mitt. Next day, I woke up, had some coffee, took the mattress and the bedspread off this bench, got all my parts back out. Here's where it really hit me. You see how different these two parts look? Surface finish aside, see the difference in luster? This is more of a light gray. This might be more gunmetally. Could this be something else? After all, you never know what you might bring home from a scrap run. No way it's titanium. It looks like titanium, but it didn't machine right. It didn't machine like titanium. Plus, I don't think anyone would let me walk off with a six foot bar of that stuff. Though it was dark when I got it at night. Could it be nickel? Beryllium, perhaps. Anyway, long story short, just between me and you, I don't really care what it is. My concern was in welding it. I didn't want to go through all this trouble just to have the welds crack and break a week after mounting this to my mill. So for kicks, let's do a little test, shall we? For reference, let's start off with some known 6061. I know it's 6061 because it's homemade. Only the best ingredients. All right, for better or for worse, that's what I've come to expect of weldable aluminum. Nice, cleanish, shiny bead. Let's try the other stuff. what just happened there. I was just setting the camera up, my side of the bench, trying to get a closer look and comparison of these two. This bead just made a ting sound, shot off the leading edge of it, and the rest of it has picked up. And that is still hot. I haven't seen the video yet, but hopefully you saw the difficulty I had welding that. There was a lot of spitting coming off the metal, fouled the electrode a couple of times. And that weld bead popped right up. Also, you see all that white whatever that is? There's zinc in them, Dar Hills. Kind of like when you're welding galvanized. 
which you shouldn't do by the way. My guess is it's zinc. So it's aluminum alloyed with zinc. The only aluminum alloy I know that has zinc in it, 7000 series, not weldable. I know, I know, you've got a bike in your garage made of 7000 aluminum and it's welded. Or there's a mad scientist holed up at NORAD welding it with electron beams. Or you have to go pee. Go ahead. Moral of the story, and something I've mentioned quite a few times here, be careful what you weld. Especially if you're doing someone a favor because they heard you weld. In this case, in this case, had I just gone through with it, no one would have been hurt except my pride. I'll just make a new middle bit and can now throw an extremely danger sticker on the rest of this stock. Use it only for turning or whatever. And just like that, we live another day. Can't ask for more than that. Thanks for watching, and as always, play safe.